We have the IOCCC prize in bot talk. Now this is not Botox, it's bot talk. Not Botox? What you? No, it's not that either. It's it's oh. it's it is a uh, a thing. So let's see who pun intended won the bot talk prize. Zero one one zero 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 one. And the IOCCC prize in bot talk goes to Adrian Cable from the United States. Congratulations, uh, Adrian, for your second win of the uh, of the evening, your fifth overall win for a very, very impressive piece of code. This is this is this is yeah. This is just um, excellent piece of code. So let's first of all see how you compile this, and and you compile it several ways. So so we're compiling all compiling prog.c, but you compile it with this fun little string. Um, you can just compile it without a string, an empty string, or you could say you are Snoop Dogg, or you are E, or always miserable, passive aggressive, uh, self-deprecating, or your Linux kernel. I will type a command and output this in a single code block. Or your your title character in the movie Rain Man. So you tell it your context when you compile. And when this is the source code, that's it. Um, I believe this particular piece of source code is 1,750 bytes, 1,750 bytes, the entire piece of code. And it's got some interesting expressions there but um, there's more, right? And so if you look at the code from a Clang perspective, you can tell you've got a, a main, you've got some, some other functions here and some variables, but that's it. But let me tell you, there's some real magic going on inside here. There's a hint right here. Um, fact, let me, let me, there's a hint here, right? This inst, inst, and sys, sys, for those that might know certain technology, um, it's doing some in mapping up here of some yeah. stuff. There's a file that it, that it loads. Um, and I believe the file is called, the file name it opens is called model 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 it's up there frustratingly there. so yes model just model <clears throat> yes um and um so you say well okay um what does it do well it is a out I, I believe it is the world's smallest llm inference engine so here's a case where you see, it says, welcome to chat, IOCC, ask me anything. And you can ask it, why does the entry win IOCC 28? And it'll tell you. It has craftsmanship and humor and originality and obfuscation, um, making it a deserving winner of the C contest. It is, it is a deserving winner. Um, if you look at the, the next thing here, um, so it's kind of funny, you could ask it to write a C program, write a C program, and it, and it, <laughs> it did this. Um, it, writes a C program that prints out this is a program written in C. Oh, uh, okay. So it's kind of it's 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 it's, it's kind of humorous in that sense. Um, I wouldn't have this write your next uh, classroom assignment. Um, you can go in and and ask it to do things like give me a sentence that gives an infinitive or in 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 a preposition. Um, here's a case of the Linux terminal is kind of fun where it says I'm a Linux terminal and you you type in commands and it outputs as if it, you're running in a Linux machine. Or you can ask Eeyore, here's Eeyore, why you're so sad and you get a very Eeyore-like uh, uh, thing if you know you're Winnie the Pooh. Um, or you can use the, the thing with initialize it with something like, describe yourself Snoop. And so it, it tries to tell you 
something in the alleged style or pattern of uh, Snoop Dogg. And even you get a joke that is uh, like you ask and say, why does a scarecrow win an award? Because he was out in his field. And then it's it's sort of Snoop Dogg's uh, kind of banter there, or it's, it's, it's in that spirit of the style. Here's a case where um, you ask Rain Man something. In fact, you ask it how to how does how can two plus two equals five, and it gives you some interesting Rain Man like uh, responses. Um, but again, this is a LL inference engine in one thousand seven hundred fifty bytes with. Now there's a script you have to run. There, there's a download script. If you want the model, you download a script. It asks you to um, um, uh, agree to the uh, Open Llama um, model. Um, uh, so far as thing. far as I can tell, yes. yeah, it's, it's it's running Llama two. Now I I dug into this because I've I've mucked about a fair bit in Python and some of the other uh, more traditional uh compilers for llms and i gotta say there are a lot of files uh having even a semi-function even without you know uh any kind of fancy context window management stuff the fact that he's gotten a running and i'll say frustratingly even even the model file type was obscured it's just model there is no extension there's no indicator there's no source it's on a private upload on a, a little drive somewhere. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's encoded in like a G, like if it's what, what the inference is reading, if it's like G, uh, GGUF or if it's like a safe tensor or I don't know what is going on because that also has been obfuscated, but it's yeah very tiny. Leo, Leo, you had some ideas about what the, again, you have to run this, this script to download your, your, you know, several gigabyte, uh, uh, llama, too, but you had some ideas about what the what the coding of this file is. So the encoding is just pure uh, memory image, so it doesn't do any decompression or anything. So that format is supposed to be directly mapped. But what will be interesting to do is to create the minimal model that, for example, just says "Hello World" on as a response to any input. So that would be interesting. How how many bytes would that model require? I, I, yeah. I, I'd also love to see if it can run other models like Quen or Mistral yeah. or things like that. It'd be fun to... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for the, because for this, the this, thing... This, yeah, this, go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, the small model will only need a few tokens, just ign the token to ignore and the token to print. So that uh, we'll see if it's possible to write the... Uh, the memory model that does exactly that. So that would be the, yeah. and the the most artificially intelligent Hello World program in the world. Yes. <laughs> um, and, and so so the get model.sh script we supply with it does the download yeah. of the six gigabytes. You will need about 11 gigabytes of RAM to run um, chat OZ. It's not super fast, um, but it is sincere. Um, it has a it has a a, a context window of about four thousand ninety six tokens, around two thousand words. So as um, soon as you, the the context window fills up, basically it tosses the it gets progressively slower because it's basically tossing old 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 tokens. But again, it's 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 the the inference engine memory maps the model you've downloaded. And the inference engine source code is just one thousand seven hundred and fifty bytes. And and just and for, uh, within, within that number of bytes, it, it is able to benefit from OpenMP. So on my like thirty two, I have a machine that has thirty two cores. It's fairly fairly fast. So it's uh, not as good as uh, as commercial ones, but it's very tolerable. And even on an yes. eight core, even on an eight core laptop, well, it gets slower after a few phrases, but the first couple of responses are relatively tolerable. So that's that's good. So, as yeah. the, the author Adrian said that 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 he asked uh, ChatGPT um, 
uh, about, you know, is this is sort of possible to do this? And, and uh, it, it, it responded, that it was absolutely, absolutely totally impossible to do what he did. Um, but he says it's like Disney says, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. And this did that, just that. Um, uh, a really amazing piece of code. Obviously, again, the, the it's using the memory maps to so the memory map thing, as I understand, has been decompressed into memory. And this is actually doing all the token management necessary uh, for that. So I invite you to download this program. Um, except the 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 llama uh, to a seven B chat um, model and play with it, and then try your others to see if you can build um, using the concept to figure out how to take another image. You'll need the memory to have it because it's a RAM based uh, model, but uh, it's it's a very again a very impressive piece of of code. Um, there's a fun things you can do with it as well as um, Talk. So I would say it certainly is the the smallest functioning LLM inference engine I've ever seen. Thanks for watching. And before you go, please like and subscribe and check out the social media links in the description below. And if you like, you can support us on Patreon to help us bring you new content so you may enjoy our favorite universe even more.